So um, I was on the OB shift um, delivering babies <clears throat> and I got a call to the ER about a patient who had abdominal pain, positive pregnancy test, but had never seen anybody for uh, her um, prenatal care. So we went down there and checked her out. They um, didn't know what was going on. Uh, she actually had been pregnant 11 times prior, I think delivered nine babies or so, something like that, something ridiculous. Um, and uh, they, uh, try to think how, how it went. Um, they did an ultrasound and, and found out she was pregnant, but uh, she started having severe pains in her abdomen. I think that's what actually brought her in, severe pains. Uh, she, and, and they registered the baby. Baby was early, maybe six, six months or so, uh, maybe a little before that, but um, the, she started uh, having internal bleeding. So uh, the um, OB doctor that I was um, on call with decided to just go in and do a um, laparotomy. And a laparotomy is where they just kind of open up and uh, try to figure out where this bleeding is, try to control it, and, and we're gonna try to salvage this pregnancy and, um, and see what's going on. So, uh, <clears throat> so we get into the operating room very quickly. You know, these things, they, they, um, they go very quickly. So within 30 minutes, we, we are um, cutting her open, and, um, and th there's just blood all over. So me and the uh, uh, OB doctor are just reaching and pulling out clots of blood. You know, they're hanging blood, and she is pretty much out of it at this point. They're resuscitating, not really resuscitating her, but putting fluids in so that she's, um, her heart's still going. Um, and the uh, OB doctor reaches in for another clot up under, kind of up where the liver is, the right upper quadrant, and he's like, uh, that's weird, pulls out the baby. So this baby... Ruptured uterus? Where she ruptured her uterus, and the baby had come outside of the uterus and was floating up in her abdominal cavity. Um, so quickly, you know, clamped the, the cord and um, had a call to the NICU to try to um, resuscitate the baby. Unfortunately, that resuscitation failed, and, and that baby passed. But um, while we were in there, uh, so she had had these nine surgeries before. She ruptured her uterus because she had had two previous cesarean sections. And over those cesarean sections, that scar where, um, where they had opened the uterus previously was so thin. It was pretty much paper thin. While, while we were trying to close it, we were trying to salvage you know, her uterus. Um, so she, I don't know why, so she could have more babies. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was just, the, the needle was just pulling through. It was so friable and so uh, paper thin. So she ended up getting a hysterectomy. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, that, that's probably the craziest experience I've ever had. That wow. Was a wow, that is a crazy one. Yeah. Any, any follow-up? Did, did you ever see the patient again? Or? No, I didn't. Nope, it was just an on-call uh, experience. Oh, somebody asked how old she was. Uh, late 30s, I believe. I don't recall exactly. Late 30s. Wow, baby machine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if she had any of these babies. To them. Oh, yeah, it may have just been, oh, that 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 situation. That situation. Yeah. yeah. Which you you had a population like that in uh, in oh, Reading when you were training. There's a population like that. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. He's sticking to it. <laughs> so uh, another story. And you find a lot of the uh, a lot of stories like that come out of residency. Um, it sounds like you saved her life. Yes, they did save her life. Yes, Absolutely. She, yeah, she survived. Yeah, she survived. Um, and that, that's true for many doctors. You know, if you want to get a good story out and say, hey, how about during residency? And, and they'll probably go, oh, yeah. Somebody worked in ICU. I see uh, retained placenta a lot in my favorite cases. Not my favorite case. I'm sorry, not my favorite no. case. When I think of retained placenta, I think of, where was I? Was that in Kansas City? I didn't know who the doctor was, so it was an, it was an, it couldn't have been Kansas City, it must have been St. Louis. Um, it was an attending who I didn't know, a uh, small uh, Indian woman, I, small, small is key here. Uh, the retained placenta was not coming out and there was bleeding. And she took her hand, reached through the vagina, 
through the cervix into the uterus. So, so I'm, I'm seeing this arm like halfway up the forearm in, this, in the patient uh, to, to reach to pull the placenta free manually from the, the wall of the inside of the uterus to get off. She, and she was successful. That was, that was quite something to see. Uh, oh, somebody says it's a great story to hear while eating. <laughs> did, did we not put the disclaimer, do not eat when asking the doctor, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> or, or should that be understood? <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right. Hey, John, thanks for joining. You just missed two awesome stories. Uh, but if you swipe right and follow, maybe you'll find something in the future that's as cool. Placenta, a very appetizing topic. Yes, we stop sending them home with the patients in a doggy bag. Great story. It is difficult to emphasize lifestyle changes versus drugs, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Um, that won't make a whole lot for the placenta accreta problem. So until next time, we will do it again. You guys stay in good health. And I will uh, get back to you with some more Ask the doctor and some good stuff to talk about regarding health care and medicine next time. Until then, stay in good health.